motion re, uh, proposed pr approval by Dáil Éireann of the Horse and Greyhound Fund Regulations 2020. I'm calling on the Minister, uh, Deputy Charlie mcconnell to move the motion. Thank you very much, Cahirla. Um, that is an important part of government policies to ensure the horse and greyhound racing industries. Oh, I move the motion. Thanks, Cahirla. That's Cahirla. That's Concorda. An important part, deputies, of government policies to ensure that the horse and greyhound racing industries achieve their maximum potential and in so doing contribute to a balanced economic and social development across a wide geographic swath of the country. The horse and greyhound racing industries make a significant and valuable contribution to our economy. It is estimated that the thoroughbred industry has an annual economic impact of 1.9 billion with direct and indirect employment of 29,000 people, while the greyhound sector provides an estimated 12,000 people with economic benefit. The thoroughbred industry in particular brings a high level of international blue chip investment to Ireland. Government funding in addition to supporting these key industries also presents an excellent opportunity to, field, uh, to yield a high return for its investment, leading to a, a flow of income right through the economy. Support for cert certain strategic industries is important for future economic growth and can provide widespread benefits to our society as well as for our economy. The Irish equine breeding and in, in racing industry is extremely competitive at a global level. We are the third biggest producer of thoroughbred foals in the world, and estimates place Ireland only behind the United States as the biggest seller of bloodstock by a public auction globally. Successive governments have acknowledged the importance of these industries and have supported them through legislation and policy initiatives. The support provided by public funds through investment in these industries has enabled Ireland to develop a world-class reputation for excellence in horse racing, greyhound racing and breeding. The current COVID-19 pandemic poses particular challenges for horse racing Ireland, Rassiac Con Erin and industries as a whole. The Government Plan on Resilience and Recovery uh, Living with COVID-19 does not provide at any of the levels for a return to full commercial operations. And this impacts significantly on the finances of HRI and RCE both this year and up to the end of the time span of the plan in June 2021. It is essential, therefore, last Concorda, in these circumstances that the additional COVID-related supports are made available to HRI and RCE, reflecting costs incurred and changes to the trading environment. These industries receive financial support through the state, uh, from the state through the Horse and Greyhound Racing Fund under Section 12 of the Horse and Grey Grey Greyhound Racing Act 2001. My department makes payments from the fund to HRI and RCE. In the period 2021 to date, a total of 1.3 or 2001 to date, a total of 1.36 billion has been paid from the fund to the Horse and Greyhound Racing Industries. In accordance with the provisions of the Act, the cumulative upper limit on the fund. Uh, provided on for under the relevant legislation has therefore been reached. Exchequer funding provided from the fund is crucial to the survival and continued development of the horse and greyhound racing industries. And in order to give effect to the previous provisions of Budget 2021, the upper uh, limit must be increased by regulation. The estimates, therefore, for my department passed by both houses as part of Budget 2021 include an allocation of €96 million Euro for horse and greyhound racing fund which will be distributed in accordance with the, the Act, with 80 per cent going to HRI and 20 per cent to RCE. In order to allow my department to provide the monies allocated in Budget 2021, it is necessary to comply with the tactical requirement to increase the cumulative limit. And this is achieved by way of regulations last concord is submitted to the House today. The 2017 Deloitte and report into the economic impact of Irish breeding and racing, commissioned by HRI, indicates that the total direct and stimulated expenditure of Irish breeding and racing is £1.84 billion in, as of 2016. In addition, it is estimated that there are 15,200 jobs at the core of racing and, and breeding uh, or in directly related industries. Horse racing generates a very significant return to the rural economy in Ireland and, and a, a positive international profile for the country as well. The 2019 annual report for HRI indicated a successful year and a focus uh, on ownership that, leads to a further, that led to a further increase in the number of horses in training and more horses competing. And in relation to uh, the greyhound racing industry, Lask and Corla, a 2017 power report um, uh, provided as, uh, that indicated how the industry provides support and considerable employment both directly and indirectly. And it was estimated that in 2016 the industry supported 5,000 uh, full-time jobs and part-time jobs in the economy. Um, with some 7,300 um, uh, greyhound owners. 
So overall, um, uh, Chairperson or Las Corla, I think there's a, a very um, uh, valid and, and uh, strong rationale for funding um, both industries in the way that we do, and also for the increase this year, given the particular pressures of COVID, has placed on both of them and to support them in their, their work. Thank you. Uh, yeah, thanks, Les Concorda. I'd like to thank everyone who contributed to the debate here this evening um, and uh, from, uh, from, from different sides of the debate. And um, certainly at the outset as well, I want to touch on the comments made by Deputy Cairns in relation to the comedy that she had to put up with, which was simply unacceptable. Um, and I understand in relation to the Rassia Conairn board member who made those comments that he has with, apologised and withdrawn, withdrawn those, covenants, those comments and they were, they were sexist and offensive um, and uh, I, I'm, uh, uh, the, the deputy should not have had to experience them and I certainly will be uh, writing to the chair of the board expressing my repugnance in relation to those um, uh, comments and ensuring and reminding all members of their responsibilities um, and, uh, for, uh, for uh, high standards and ensuring that there is no repeat of such uh, instances in the future. Um, I think there's been a healthy debate, uh, Chairperson. I think the, I've outlined in my opening comments the fact that both industries, the, the horse racing and the greyhound industry, employ significant, uh, support significant employment. The thoroughbred industry is worth $1.9 billion to the economy, um, uh, with some 29,000 direct and indirect jobs uh, benefiting from it, and with the greyhound industry, uh, some 12,500 people deriving economic benefit from that. Um, and uh, This is the fourth time over in the course of a week that I have debated this particular fund and issue across both houses, the Rockdust and the, and the Agriculture Committee. It has received thorough interrogation, and, and rightly so. And I know different members have varying views in relation to it. Um, I'm, uh, I can't come back on all of the uh, comments due to the time today, but certainly they've got a very thorough airing in the Agriculture Committee. I know members have different views on different sides of the House. I would just point out, coming back on Deputy Carthy's uh, view, there is a, there is a, a well-known saying that to, to, to um, hunt with the hound, uh, to run with the hare and to hunt with the, hunt with the hound. And I think that certainly represents uh, uh, Sinn Féin's view on this matter because if we look at uh, Deputy Stanley's uh, comments last year after you voted down last year's level of funding, he said, shame on Fianna Fáil, Fine Gael and Labour who passed this funding. Sinn Féin will not support such an obscene level of funding. Yes. Yet this year you have no problem with the funding that you called obscene last Thank year. You simply you. just don't want an, the increase. So certainly if the phrase uh, running with the hare and hunting with the hound was ever apt, it's certainly Thank you, in this particular instance, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The question, the question at this point, is that the motion be agreed to. Is the question now going to name Titor and Tarishkin? The chakti at our heave, the question of Brigitte. The chakti at our Nguyen of Brigitte Neil. Is the question will and question Richa? The motion has been won. Garmak. Okay, thank you very much. That concludes that uh, section. Moving on, no, Minister. We just give a minute. Yep.